I think that the role of the role of the people in uh, in holding governments accountable has become more and more important. No United Nations Development Agency could come to the people that needed it more than any other country in the world. Cambodia was in a, in a state which was worse than the Congo today and worse than any country in Africa. Good evening and welcome to On Record 3, which is featuring a well-seasoned journalist and writer, Tom Forthrop, and filmmaker, documentary maker. You're, you're based in Chiang Mai, aren't you? I am based in Chiang Mai. Okay, brilliant. Every now and again, there is an explosion of discontent with the way the world is run at the moment. As, for example, we can say the Occupy, the Occupy movement from Wall Street around to capitals all over Europe and many other parts of the world. This, this is a similar manifestation. It was never as strong. The interesting thing about France in 1968 was they came very close to bringing down the French government. I was in the Philippines when they had the, the term people's power was coined, where millions of people went into the streets and stopped, stopped tanks and uh, in the end, Marcos was overthrown, the dictator in the Philippines. Another good friend of Washington. <laughs> uh, and, um, you know, since that time, we've seen a number of very interesting uh, examples where people's power has been over. You know, but people without guns, without weapons, without arms have been able to... Uh, Changed the course of history. It happened. They got rid of Milosevic in, in Yugoslavia, uh, you know. And, and but it was interesting. It wasn't NATO bombing that did it. They would have, if NATO had not got involved, they would have done it much earlier. Uh, as long as NATO was bombing, they were going to be uh, the people were going to be were going to sort of side with Milosevic for the defence of their country.